much for joining me today. We are talking about two new products by By Terry. One is the By Terry Lip Expert Matte, and then the other one is the By Terry Lip Expert Shine. So there are several colors in both of these. Starting with the matte, it comes in 16 shades. It's an ultra pigmented liquid lipstick, and it covers in one coat with an intense matte finish. It's a lightweight and creamy formula that easily glides onto the lips for a unique bare lips feel without drying for flawless wear. The lips are perfectly outlined for a captivating and sophisticated look. For the shine version, it says ultra pigmented liquid lipstick beautifies the lips um, with one coat and a vinyl like finish. It's enriched with vitamin E. The hydrating formula protects the lips while providing a vibrant shine and flawless wear. The lips are perfectly outlined for a captivating and sophisticated look. This one comes in 16 shades as well. So the shades that I got were in My Red 10 for the matte and then also um, Fire Nude 6. So I tried to step out of my comfort zone and got two bright colors. One of the reasons I stay away from brighter colors is because out of all my features, my lips are most prominent, I think. <laughs> so when I have bright colors, that's kind of all I see. So I just either have to get used to it. I don't know, nudes are still most comfortable for me, but I'm really trying. <laughs> so right now, these are new to me. Um, I'm just trying them out. So I wanted to get on and at least show you what they looked like. If you were considering them, I will have more final thoughts on these towards the end of the month um, in my February haul and favorites which is typically at the end of the month. So I'll have some more in-depth ideas for you, but I know that people requested this, so I wanted to pick up a couple and try them out for you. So if you wanna see what both of these look like on and hear some thoughts, please keep watching. So I've had Balm de Rose on my lips kind of just to condition it before I apply the lipstick. I'm gonna start with the shine one because I'm going to apply this and then remove it and then apply the matte one because I'm guessing the matte one's going to be more difficult to remove. So I just wanna make sure I can remove as much of this as possible before I apply the matte one so you can see the difference. Again, this is in Six Fire Nude and it's supposed to just take one swipe Right away, it has like a glossy feeling to it, of course. I like the applicator because of the shape of it, and that way it kind of contours your lips. Again, I'm just running my finger along the edges. I do that with deeper and brighter lipsticks. It just makes that line a little bit less severe. I know it said one coat, but I have to be careful that I don't end up all over the place so I put a really light coat on there so let's go in it with another one it feels like if I had like a more nude color then I think it would be a lot easier to apply without a mirror okay and that's one of the reasons I don't really wear bright colors because I feel like that is the only thing you can see on my face let me know if that's distracting to you because it kind of distracts me so this formula is really beautiful. So far, yeah, it's very gloss. Like it reminds me a lot of the Gloss Terribly Shine. It does have a certain thickness to it. I mean, you can see on the actual wand, let's see, that it keeps a shape. So it's got a nice thickness to it. Also, it reminds me of the Gloss Terribly Shine. That also is a thicker formula of a lip gloss, I think, but they're both not sticky. Really comfortable on the lips. I think with the right makeup with me, it would work well. I'd like to test these both out individually in terms of the wear. So what I'll do is I will leave in the description box below how they did in terms of the color fading, what that looked like, and also moisturization. Sometimes when the gloss wears off, it can feel a little dry. And then of course for the matte one, I wanna see how drying or not drying that one is. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and then try the matte one on. So you can see right away So that right there gives me an indication of how this would wear, say if I was eating and then I used a napkin. This is probably what it would look like in the end. So that's pretty good. And what I like about that is that it's an even fade. It doesn't have to last a long time. So what it has to do though is fade really well in terms of its evenness, so not patchy. Sometimes that'll happen where you'll get color in some places and not in others. But this fades really nicely and there's nothing odd looking about it when it fades. I'm just putting just a little bit of that Balm de Rose again because my lips are very chapped these days. So it's just a thin layer. So if I put that matte one right on top, it's just gonna feel extra, extra dry. So here we go with the red. 
And if you've been here before, I have a harder time wielding red, especially liquid type formulas. So <laughs> wish me luck. Okay, right away, this is a very light feeling formula. That's interesting. Lots of color payoff without much product. It reminds me a little bit of the Lancome Juicy Shakers. This one reminds me of this product, the Juicy Shakers. But the applicator on this one is much better because I can control it much better. That is very red. Okay, I'm gonna take a Q-tip again and just run it on the edges here. All right, and there is the red matte. I like the finish of it. Again, all over my hands. Um, I do like the finish of it. Checking to see what's on my teeth. Um, let me just read a little bit about those. So this is supposed to be kiss proof, but I don't know how long that takes because, <laughs> but uh, let's see. Okay, I think we're at the point where it's not gonna transfer, but also I've lost some of the color. Pretty much this is all I got that last time, so not much at all. Um, I actually prefer this color better because it's not so vibrant. And I feel a little bit of like dryness, so I'm gonna do a little experiment Typically I won't go for a liquid lip anyway just because of the dryness, but I want to try this. So I've got the By Terry Bomb de Rose. Just for that hydration. And of course this is emollient, so it will separate that pigment again. Um, but I actually prefer this look. For me, that's how I would do it. I would probably apply this pat my lips with not my hands, but with a, like a tissue, and then go over it with that Bomb de Rose and still have a nice stain on there that I know will last. So yeah, that to me looks better. I know it's not red anymore, but I prefer that. And I like how it evened out my skin tone on my lips. So I have some thoughts, even though these are new products to me. Right away, I'm not a fan of like liquid lips, so I'm already not going to like the one, the matte one, um, just because I just don't usually wear them. They are not comfortable on my lips and typically are drying. I like this a lot, the uh, Lip Expert Shine. It reminds me, like I said, of the By Terry glosses, but with more intensity and more of like a lipstick, um, which of course makes sense because this is like a lipstick type product. The By Terry glosses are already thick, so it's just a bit more intense and a bit thicker than the gloss to me, and I like that. So I think I will invest in a few more of the lip shines. I'm gonna look at some more nude ones on this. I hope that helped you out a little bit. I know, again, you were interested in hearing about these, so I wanted to pick them up for you and quickly get on here and just give you some initial thoughts. Uh, typically with lipsticks, I know more quickly if I like them or not. Foundations are a little bit harder to tell because there's a lot going on on my skin to influence how something will wear throughout the day, but with lipstick, it's really, um, how does it feel going on? Will it last? Um, how does it wear away as I go throughout my day? Even if I swipe off like I just did on that first one, I was able to see kind of how it would go in terms of eating and then wiping my mouth with a napkin. Um, so a little bit easier, I think, to give some feedback on lipstick rather than say a foundation. But like I said, I will continue to wear these, let you know in that recap at the end of the month how you feel about them. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. So I'll update you in the information. What I'll do is update you in the information. What? What I'll do is I'll update you in the information. Oh.